To the biggest statewide election next year, it will be for U.S. Senate here in Texas. Ted Cruz running for a third term. You know, six years ago, he was vulnerable. Beto O'Rourke forced Cruz to campaign hard for re-election in 2018. Cruz only won by a couple of points then. It is said to be the closest U.S. Senate race since 1978. Ian Mitra is a senior managing editor with the Texas Tribune. Ian, Cruz just does not seem as vulnerable next year. Why is that, and, and what could change that, if anything? Yeah, certainly there's a couple of reasons. You know, last time Cruz uh, as a senator was was finishing his first term, a lot of that he was seen as just kind of the, you know, in opposition to the, you know, in, and not necessarily setting his own record yet. And then, of course, in the second record, uh, second uh, term, a lot of it with under President Trump, you know, uh, Senator Cruz was seen to be a, you know, a strong ally uh, of uh, President Trump. And, you know, a lot of also like, you know, kind of a, a lot of the policies, there was a, a rightward shift among the Republican Party. So, you know, Senator Cruz seems to have grown in popularity, not only within the body, but also in the state for his, you know, his, his alliance with, the, with, uh, with President Trump. So that works for him. You know, it just, we'll have to see when it comes to the Democrats, you know, you know, Beto O'Rourke was obviously a massive fundraiser and a big challenge to to Senator Cruz. And, you know, there are some names popping up on the Democratic side. You know, of course, in Dallas, there's U.S. Representative Colin Allred, possibly State Senator Roland Gutierrez. But, uh, yeah. you know, right now that name recognition doesn't match uh, with, with Senator Cruz. We shall see how this unfolds. Great. I am back to you in just a moment here. All right.